Okay, today we will be working on wood panels, right? This is high gloss wood panel, right? So basically it's painted and polished, right? So you get a clear, reflective uh, thing like this from far, it looks like glass, but it's actually wood, right? So how do we get this? Right? So basically uh, the factory contacted me and uh, this is after painting. After painting and uh, sanded with a thousand grit dot sander and then finished with the two thousand grit by hand, right? So uh, there was problems removing the sanding marks and it's actually hard to polish, right? Because I, my, my idea is because that, uh, it's from 1000 grit to 2000 grit, it's too much of a jump, so you cannot get the sanding marks. So what I want to propose today is uh, to polish this, right? Use an air sander with uh, the interface for cushion, right? 1002 grit, 1005, and then Use wool and the Perfect 40 to polish, remove the scratches, and then finish up with the Purple Foam wool and the 46. All right. So you still do a thousand, thousand grit sandpaper to remove the orange peel, and then to refine the thousand grit sandpaper, use thousand two for by thousand five. Right. So you don't have to use the two thousand. Uh, that's for theory, and then uh, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'll be using a 1002 grit but uh, with the interface so uh, it provides a little bit of cushion and uh, yeah so just fix the holes so that the dust can go get, get inside if you, if you have a vacuum but other than that uh, it's okay so 1002 sandpaper uh, I'll be going in cross passes meaning to say uh, vertical and horizontal and um, yeah I'll be working in Two passes just to make sure all the thousand grit send, sending marks are gone right so this is uh, the first pass and then I'll be going for the second pass again all right so something like that so okay okay so after the 1002, uh, use a cloth and uh, remove the excess uh, abrasives and uh, now I'll be using a 1005 grit sandpaper, right? This is to further refine the 1002 grit sanding marks. Alright, uh, same thing, I'll be doing cross sections, uh, vertical and horizontal and two passes as well. Okay, now with all the sanding done, uh, use a cloth again to wrap off the excess abrasives or, or clear coats. Uh, okay, I'll be using the wool pad and Austrian Perfect 40. This is a 4 ply 100% twisted wool pad. And uh, yep, this is done to buff off the, set, the remaining sanding marks to high gloss. Alright. My working speed is about 1008 RPMs plus minus and uh, yeah if it's a bit oily right uh, spray some water and uh, further polish to high gloss okay so right I'm using a microfiber towel to inspect and see if I left any sending marks or not right so uh, okay, what's going to happen now, I'll be using the 3 inch polisher, the pneumatic polisher to polish the edges, right? So uh, the bigger wool pads is quite hard to reach the edges, so if you really want a detailed finish, you really want to go to the edges, um, put some compounds there, uh, using the wool pad and uh, yeah, do what I'm doing now. <laughs>
Okay, so now I will be using the purple foam wool which is the lighter cut wool compared to the 4-ply 100% twisted wool. Um, this is to do refine the swirls left behind the compounding wool. Alright, so I'm using the Nail 46 and the purple foam wool at about speed 1008 RPMs to uh, show you the difference, I will be only doing half the panels and um, I'm only doing the bottom half. Alright, I'm trying to work the edges as much as possible. And uh, alright, so I'm done. I'll use the microfiber towel to wipe off excess oils and uh, to inspect the work. Right, so I'll be only polished there and uh, this part's unpolished, right? Unpolished, polished. Okay, so I've uh, set this to maximum exposure. Uh, you will see there is a faint haze, right? Those are actually swirl marks, right? Look at the fluorescent tubes, surrounding fluorescent tubes, there are a lot of swirls, right? This is from the wool pad alone, right? So I'll slowly pan across to this side. This side it's absolutely clear. This one has been refined by the purple foam wool with the 46, alright? So, switch back and pan over. You can actually see the difference, alright, when I move across. Alright, so this was done, and uh, this was done just now, right? So, um, I will give a rough summary of what I've done, what I've did, what I've done, what I've done. So, uh, right, initially it was sanded 1000, right, with the belt sanded to remove orange peel. Now I will, uh, just now I used the 1002, right, to refine it, 1005 to further refine it. And then I used the wool pad with the compound 40, right, to remove the sanding marks. And then I used the purple foam wool with the 46 to remove the swirl marks, right. Now, for the ultimate finish, the ultimate show finish, you may just want to add a foam with the wax. Right, so um, it depends on how detailed or how how like how gorgeous you want it to be. Right, so um, basically these are the steps to get you the perfect flat finish for high gloss wood uh, panels.